Welcome to Low Country Weekend. I am Bagney Bradley and I'm here at Charleston Wine and Foods Test Kitchen and Event Space. And I'm joined by Nick Wilbur, the executive chef at Basic Kitchen. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing well. So tell me, what are we making today? Well, you know, we're making our magic green sauce, which is something that's been around at Basic Kitchen for since we opened, actually, about a year now. And um, we're going to kind of break down the allure of the magic sauce, um, show you how simple it is to make at home, and then how simply you can use it to really liven up salads and roasted vegetables. Great, let's get started. So it is, like I said, it's going to be, it's really easy. Um, the miso is the main ingredient. Um, we're going to mix that with a little bit of lime and lemon juice and then some apple cider vinegar, also good for your stomach. Um, so we'll take that, just take a nice big spoon of it there, a couple grams or so. The recipe that's online will be all grammed out if you want to be a perfectionist. Um, since we're just doing it here, we're going to play around with it. Um, a little lemon, give it a nice roll, that's the chef trick of the day. Once you roll and soften your lemon, you can get more juice out of it. So we'll just squeeze it in there. So we um, at Basic Kitchen, are, we're going to do um, the retreat, which I think is a new thing for Charleston Food and Wine. Um, it's going to be, you know, I'm teamed up with a chef that is a, an Ayurvedic chef. So I'll get to learn a lot about that as well as uh, we're gonna do the industry tent as well. So we're gonna take a little bit of our cider vinegar. So we're just making kind of a base um, to get our greens kind of blended up into the blender. It's important if you want it to be like nice and vibrant and green that um, you put all that in last. Like the blender naturally makes this kind of heat um, and that'll start to brown your greens a little bit. So now that all that's in there, we're gonna add a touch of honey just for sweetness. Um, now with the apple cider vinegar, can some people just use regular vinegar? Yeah, I mean there's all kinds of vinegar. Um, I wouldn't suggest like balsamic or sherry vinegar, something that's really kind of heavy on their own um, with their flavors. But like an apple cider vinegar, you know, is uh, is is good. It's a um, it's kind of a middle of the road. It's not too aggressive. Um, like simple white wine vinegar would work as well. Or you could omit it and just uh, go with the citrus. So how did you? get your passion for cooking? Uh, um, I don't know. I think, um, I think every chef has its little you know, journey. Um, I think I got into it at a time in my life where you know, the lifestyle and that kind of family um, aspect of being in a kitchen and like those tight situations and stress and stuff like that and you know, kind of sparked all this childhood memories of like I have um, European grandmothers, they had like a farm with you know, chickens and eggs and, you know, different kinds of, uh, like, fruit trees and just, like, was a really kind of self-sustaining little farm. Um, and that's kind of where, like, my path and my chef career has gone. Like, I did the thing, I went to New York, I worked for the fancy French chef um, uptown on the, upper, on the Upper East Side. I worked for Daniel Balud for quite some time and then I kind of worked my way downtown and found this amazing restaurant where we focused on farm to table and then kind of cooking healthy and using all these like beautiful like local vegetables has just kind of been the niche that I've fallen into and that I really enjoy. So. All right, so we've stirred in all this. We've made that nice little paste and that nice little, you know, um, starter to our dressing. So we're going to pour that into our blender. Okay, so in this recipe, we're going to use tahini, like a normal like dressing. You would emulsify your olive oil or any kind of oil into there. Um, we're going to use tahini instead of an olive oil. Tahinis are just packed with pretty much every B vitamin you can think of, and then it has all those um, strange minerals and stuff that you think of in construction, like magnesium and iron and the things that your doctor tells you that you need to put in, but you're like, I have no idea how that. I should just take a pill. So we definitely need to have this mixed. Can we whisk this? Yeah, Are absolutely. There options? You could totally mix the dressing from the start, but like we're gonna put in these whole spinach leaves and the scallions and the, and the, and the cilantro, and that's gonna get blended up and make it nice and smooth and pure. Okay. And then emulsify in the, uh, the tahini. So you wanna give your blender a good head start. So we're gonna kinda chop up the scallions a little bit. 
we've all kind of just thrown things in the blender and it starts to spin and then it gets stopped in there. Um, this is the cilantro. It's beautiful. You can use all the stems, give it a good wash. So as you can see, we chopped it up. It's going to start getting in there nice and green. So tahini is just uh, sesame seeds that have been uh, like blended up like a, like a peanut butter, we'll say. It's a sesame peanut butter or benny seed, as we have down here. Um, it's used in a lot of, it's pretty much in every hummus you've ever had, or baba ganoush, uses dressings on. So we do this nice and slow, and you can see how it's nice and thick. It's getting nice and thick with those little speckles in there. Well, just like any, uh, like the olive oil that you would add to your dressing, that's the one that's going to kind of like balance out the vinegars. It's going to add that like richness, that, that fattiness that you need in a, a typical like kind of uh, dressing of any sort. It's in to this bowl here so we can see how nice and green it is. Oh, that's so green and pretty. We're going to take this simple, nice brown rice that we cooked off. And that's going to be your starch and your healthiness. So this is the exciting part where you're getting your plate ready to ready to go. Yep. All that hard work of blanching the vegetables, a quick, easy, like 15 minutes. And then you're gonna walk to your fridge and you're gonna grab this magic green and you're gonna be able to just pour it over the top and have this beautiful dish. And look at that. Beautiful. All right. So now you're gonna get to put the final on there. You can put as much as you want. Okay. To experience more delicious dishes just like this one, head on over to charlestonwineandfood.com. You can get event details and tickets. Everything's on the website. For more information, again, charlestonwineandfood.com. I'm Bagney Bradley for Low Country Weekend.